Oh, Cabela's XL. I mean, that's probably a $40 sweater. All right, which one should we get? I don't know. I think I kind of want, want, want that blue one back there. Ooh, here's another. So it's two of them and they're new in the case. Wow, those are brand new. What, the big blue tote? Oh man, this box right here. Oh, I remember putting this in the trailer. Here we are back working on this pile. And if you watch some of the videos, you'll know we already made our money back. So everything here is pure profit on this buy. As soon as we get it listed and sold. <laughs> Where do we go next? Um, I'm liking the boxes. So I like that little stack little, of boxes too. Tool boxes here. So I guess let's start from the top. Nope, nope. I want to do that tote right there. That blue tote. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Oh. It's the gun boxes. Oh, yeah. And These this are the ones that we, um, we, so when we were loading this, the brother, where we picked up the stuff from, he kind of talked about some of the things like that you could see so we don't know if we have keys for these Is no that... we do because we saw we these do. and I asked beforehand about the keys and this one was on his key ring so we oh, have oh okay so not only do we have these lock boxes but we actually have the keys to lock it so that's the life jacket okay um, and this, we only have one key, but this one key oh, was for all three. Oh, that's right. So because this was that's what he said. Bag. He said his brother always keyed everything the same. Yeah. So. I remember that conversation now. So, yeah, these are all one key. So so we'll probably get two more keys made and then sell all those individually or, or keep some. I don't know. Or we could rekey them, but one of them we will be keeping. So... Oh, I forgot all about those. Yeah, there's a lot that we probably forgot about. I mean, and those, <laughs> those aren't cheap, so, well, I mean, we probably could get a good, probably 15 to to $20 per. Yeah. Um, but that's still 15 times 4, 3, it's $45 right there yeah. in that little bag. And this is, looks like some glass. There was some of this that's kind of stuff there, lid. like collectible type stuff. Yeah. Um, you saw us. Nope, that's a lid. Okay. Pull out the. Um... Oh. Uh oh! Did I just hear clinking? Yes, you did. Is it broken? Yeah. Oh. Yep, this one broke. So. So the big one's gone. Oh, but the little dishes here. These are. Look at that. So what is this, like a little sugar maybe? I would assume, because this probably was the candy dish. Yeah. There's two of those. Okay. Because I can tell this has the handles on it. So yeah. So we got two of those. And the bigger dish broke. This one's heavy. What, the big blue tote? Oh man, this box right here. Oh, I remember putting this in the trailer. So this is Ooh, Harley Davidson 2010. Yeah. Service manual. Oh. So wow. We did have evidence that he was a motorcycle rider. Mhm. Mm um and this looks like all electronic and diagnostic manual. Okay. So this is all the service manuals for mm, These are for cars. It says GTO, V car. Pontiac, yeah. Wow. Same with that GTO. So some of this stuff. FLT domestic owner guide. Okay, okay. For 2010 Harley. So some of this stuff, um, you know, has some value too. These are still sealed in plastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wow. Which, you know, of course, again, that, that's got value. And this probably has value, too. I mean, we're looking at a, a GTO there. What's he going to come back with? Three cases. None of them are locked, though, yep. so. Actually, if they were, I mean, it was only those two that he didn't have a combination with. What do we have? 
We have a Buck Light Buck Knives. Not a Bud Light, a Buck Light. <laughs> Is that a knife with a light? <laughs> no. <laughs> Ooh, here's another. So it's two of them and they're new in the case. Wow, those are brand new. This is great eBay inventory. We have barcodes. Um, it's brand new in the package. Mm -hmm. It's small enough that it's good for shipping. This one's still in the package, but the package is open. Mm -hmm. So, um, but that's still good too because we have a model for it. Same with this one. Oh, there's already one like this. So now we actually have one in the package. Mm hmm. This is that double blade that you mm -hmm. open up. And, you know, eBay has a classification, new open box. So, depending on its condition. Big what box could, for that little knife. <laughs> yes, it is. That's a lot of, uh, it's not it's styrofoam, it's just a plastic. Still a lot of filler. What's oh. underneath it? Oh, the, the sheath. Yep. Okay. That is a lot of filler. <laughs> Interesting. But, hey, we have the filler to go with it, so... I mean, for as light as this box was, I mean, those are empty. They're just sheaths. Okay. So the theme of his toolboxes are not tools, not, but well, knives. It depends. I mean, it's a tool for something. He's well, a big hunter, so. Right. You know, this. Uh, yep. Definitely. All right. Next. That's how we put things back here. Yeah, because we're going to re. re sort that right now anyway. anyway yeah <laughs> a lot of these cases what we end up doing is using them to like i'll put tools in that and then sell it as a toolbox in one of our online auctions so yep all right let's see what's this this oh, that's an interesting way that it opens um bench turkey choke <laughs> no okay benelli turkey choke Vanilla? Hmm. Yeah. Vanilla? Lithium grease. Here's some toothbrushes. Mad calls. So this looks like a, it's probably a turkey call in here, and he has it wrapped. Man, I would want to hear what a turkey call sounds like. And here's two more. Would you want to pull one of those out and demonstrate for us? He's shaking his head no. That doesn't make us happy. This is a lens pin. Crystal clear lens cleaning technology. Huh, for binoculars? Spotting scopes, rifle scopes. Hmm. Range finders, cameras, camcorders. Okay. <laughs> Shotgun cleaning rod. This is all his tools of the trade. So really, this is his toolbox. Browning box. oil. Superior rust protection lubrication, probably for, for the guns. And the knives. And then some more, another call down there. Because some knives you do keep oiled right mm-hmm wow sure we can't get you to do one of the turkey calls what about just like pretending to do one right now <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. No. we'll get a turkey call on camera right, yeah guys see what's on this one Ooh, Ooh, so this, this is, is a tackle box this it's is the tackle a plano box. Yep. So, so look at yeah, that look. so it's not it's pretty full. Real lube, it's yeah. It's not completely full. Here's your bottle opener for while you're having your beers while you're waiting. Bud Light. Sinkers. You got a Budweiser and a Browns. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Sinkers, uh, Bobbers, something. Wow. We got a lot of stuff here. Gloves, tools. And a camera. Yeah. Oh. Is that Days In soap down there? I feel like I smell it. Yep. <laughs> Safeguard. Oh my gosh. Little bars of soap. TWA soap. Heck, that's probably collectible at this point. Right? It's, it could be. <laughs> that would be something we'll have to look up. Oh my gosh. Wow. And then where was what this else one we have? from? You know, it's funny. I don't know how many times I buy 3-in-1 oil and I can't ever find the bottle when I need it. Hmm. <laughs> no comment, Roy. So, yeah, this is the whole kit and caboodle for fishing right here. To include, we have to have... A fillet knife. Yes. And this is definitely a Gerber knife. I'm looking to see bolt action fisherman. 
Okay. Yep. <laughs> well, you guys, um, oh, shoot, they're not close by anymore. They were right behind Roy. He moved them. Um, what was that? The fishing poles that came from the buyout. Oh, yeah. We'll show you in a minute, but he yeah. had, like, sleeves or, like, socks to put over them. I've never seen fishing poles that protected. No, let's go look at them real quick. Okay. That up and we're not put them. I put them right over here. All right. I mean, look at that. What? Do so they have the little like one, um, two, three, vinyl or like vinyl protector around the bottom, the base where the. Uh, reel is the on the reel. and then there's plastic a plastic bag yeah so here's and then he has the sock there's, it's hard to see because so i got the zebco 33 Ooh, classic that's a good brand feather touch i mean it looks like it's got a little bit of oil to keep it nice and lubricated i mean and of course we'll have to look this up to see you know because different reels, different rods do different things. So, or so for then different types of fishing, like if you're in the ocean or, you know. These, like, sock things that he has on these. I mean, and look at this. I am. Here, let me get. There's the bright sun here. I'm 5'8", so, because, of course, different reels are for different sizes. So, you can get a smaller, smaller rod for ice fishing, you know, but. Yeah, and we are on Lake Erie, so he might have done ice fishing. So this is, I'm 5'8", this is taller than me, actually. Roy brought a tote. Oh, we're going on the ground. Yeah. Oh, what do we have? So... We definitely have some things that have personalization. <laughs> yes, we do. This is actually, oh, this is a gun case, but it also, well, there's a holster. This is, actually it says a tech light. Here, do you want to sit on this little stool? What kind of tech light do we have? Thank you, thank you. See, she's thinking about me. I am. I'm thinking about your old man knees. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, what do we have? Tech light. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Oh, and it says, guess what on it? Glock. Oh, wow. Wow. So, we've had, obviously, you guys have seen so much evidence of pew pews, but we don't, we don't know. What's and this? we didn't ask the brother and sister-in-law, you know, where his arsenal was because this, it wasn't there. This is a speed loader for Glock. Okay. For the magazines. Wow. And what is this here? This is, um, can't think of what it is, but it's a spring for a handgun. Okay. Probably a Glock, considering we found Glock parts here. Yeah. So, in case... Is this the Glock bag? I'm assuming it is, but we also know from earlier, you guys saw, we pulled out some holsters and there was three different, it was the bandoliers. Yes. They had three different style Glocks that they... Three different style Glocks? Yeah. Oh. They accommodated. So right, right. Let's see. Is there something in here? Yes. There is a gun case in here. <gasps> we didn't look in this. And inside of the case is ho -ho, magazines which do sell well. So you can sell magazines on eBay. You just can't ship them internationally you can only do domestic sales okay um and this is it just says per script i'll probably have to look it up but i wouldn't be surprised if they go to a glock yeah so oh, wow so that's money right there probably i would say if i'm looking at the ones i've sold before not necessarily glock but just the magazines in general it's probably a good Nineteen twenty dollars usually is about you know what I posted for. Um, at least the ones I've sold in the past. So, 
<laughs> Bless Excuse you. me. What is this? It's a drive tension. Quarter Ex drive and a three-eighths ratchet. So this actually looks more like a tool. Actually, this is bad bill or wrench. Hmm. I mean, just talk about making sure it's nice and kept. Yeah. Probably I mean, this thing this is out with them hunting. It's so that it doesn't get water on it. Look is it that. brand new? The extensions look brand new. Wow. So yeah. It's triple bag. It's, it's in that blue bag, and right. then it's in two Ziploc bags. Right. So wow. All right. Let's actually. And there's another one right at the bottom, so yeah. Huh. Okay, what's in here? It says push off light. Push on off light. And it looks like it has layers of um, paper towel around it. Yeah, and this probably is just a little, yeah. Oh. One of those type lights. Battery light, big. yep. Um, has there even anything in that little piece of paper yeah, towel? Yeah, there's actually something in here. I don't know what it is, though. Because it's all wrapped up. We don't know what it I is either. I bet it's either. batteries. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> it's batteries to make sure that he can... Yep, that's wow. what that is. Triple A. Oh, I didn't even batteries. see that. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't read that, but now I know what it is. All right. What is this here? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the Eliminator. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> no, this is probably for like cutting limbs and you know, if you got to make your, if you're out camping, your shelter With and With trees, it's yeah. for trees, right? Probably, you know. Not for other <laughs> limbs. <laughs> hey, if it's serious and it needs to happen, I'm sure this thing will work. Look oh at the teeth gosh, on that Oh my gosh, I know. Yeah. It's probably for, you know, I mean, there's, you know, the five C's to camping or survival. So one of them is a cutter, combustion, container, cordage, and, uh, ooh, what is the fifth one? Camaraderie. <laughs> <laughs> right. Companionship. Right. <laughs> They'll come up with it. A mini mag light. It's got a case. It's in plastic. It's in two layers of plastic. <laughs> and he's been pretty spot on with obviously labeling his equipment. So I'm yep. willing to bet that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Oh, it looks like it might have orange. <sighs> yeah, so, you know. I wonder know, if it's as powerful as an O-light. Nah, it's a mag light. <laughs> um, is, does it have power? No. I would actually go with an O-light at this point, though. But, you know. Yeah. Um, that's we love our O lights. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. What do, what do we have here? Loppers. Yep. Ooh, look at that. This probably is vintage little airline. Delta Airlines air cargo. Wow. It's like a little pocket knife or something. Yeah, I'm sure they they're not handing those out <laughs> a anymore. Right, right. <laughs> that ended a long time ago. Ooh, we got some weight on this. What is this? It must have been extra special. It's in bubble wrap. Hmm. Bad bull. What is that? Breech plug wrenches? Okay. That other one said bad bill, but maybe it meant was bad bull. Yeah. Remember? Um, this is actually taped, but we're going to break that tape so we can see. Yeah. What do we have? Wow. There we go. What are these? Look at these are that. just wrenches, like for wrenching. <laughs> like it's, I, I would not say these are car tools, but what is he use? Well, how in conjunction with mm. hunting are these tools used? Is that uh, this actually looks like it's got a magnet? So that we'll have to look up and see. Hmm. So. You guys know anything about these kinds of wrenches, bull wrenches? I think it was yeah. on there. Or Drop recognize them? The Let, us Let us know. Let us know. We got another one. This is heavy, Ooh. and I hear a box of something. 
Did you that sound that, like ammo? That probably was exactly what that was. Or, well, this isn't it, but <laughs> earplugs. Okay. But wait, can we just look at that? Like, it's still it's in the package. Earplugs. I know, but he even wrote earplugs on them, even though it's very obvious what they are. He was just very, very organized. Meticulous, yep. And meticulous, yeah. S and W. Um, holster, so Smith and Wesson. Yep. Yep. Definitely was a big caliber there. And right. What's in here? Ho oh, ho ho! There we are. So this is an ammo pouch. Um, I'm willing to bet. Oh, there this it is. is. Probably for the <laughs> yep individual ammo and put that right there what is this 44 mag speed loaders <sighs> it's like a revolver look oh, oh they're loaded <laughs> yes they are oh my gosh wow look at those giant things <laughs> wow Remington 44 mag. Wow. So yeah, not only were they speed loaders, but they are loaded. Oh yeah. So what do we have in here? Uh, 20 cartridges of what? There we go. 44 mag, 300 grain. Oh. And is it? I believe this is full. Yep. Wow. And you know, the way the world has been lately, it's been hard to come by this kind of stuff. So, um, wow, this is a full box. Uh, this feels full too. I mean, I can tell you right now it's got that weight. Look at that. So those have twenty dollar price tags on them, nineteen ninety nine, mm -hmm. and you get twenty of them. So, and this is same thing, but this is two seventy five grains. So this is for forty four mag, and only one's gone. Mm. <laughs> okay. So that probably was case for it here's a I mean it still has the tag on the black sheep it's a rifle case wow and I can feel there's no weight in here yeah but that doesn't mean and these will go great in our online auctions so yep and there's a price $17.99 so they're not super expensive but nope but they, you know what in the online auction brand new yep if Here's you get another one. two people bidding on them, you know, you never know how high they'll drive the price up. And we got two of them. Yeah. So, in this, I, th I <laughs> this has, look at this, not, o not only holsters in it, but uh, it's got a nice little... <laughs> oh, is that your fanny pack that you said you now, wanted? this is a fanny pack I could get with. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we got a, a hidden pocket there. Look there's at, another, there's one. another one. See, and you got the nice little. Is that the like holster part? Yep. He so. has his name on almost everything. <laughs> there it was on the inside. So it's two of these. One red, one blue. That's interesting. Yeah. I guess it depend on the occasion. He, and he, like. It can't comes up the uh, bell grows off so the name comes off so yeah. uh, and what's in here motion lights they're the battery C double A <laughs> <laughs> there it is hmm that's just crazy so I wonder if he that had a little thing hooked to hang I wonder if he hung that somewhere oh, like yeah. outside I'm hang sure if a you're, tree or something yeah, if you're out camping you're in the woods whatever the case hunting you know you could use it for a couple things not only light but you could also use it as a early warning system 
Yeah. If you think about it. Yep. So, Absolutely. You know. Keep Bigfoot away from your campsite. <laughs> or poachers. <laughs> it all just depends. Yep. Wow, that was a that tote. I think. I mean, this tote. I don't even know what to say. Um. But I think we could easily get at least a hundred dollars out of it. Yeah, if for not sure. A little bit more. Yep. So, um, just everything we open, just, I mean, we're just paying off this buyout over and over and over again. It's ridiculous. And then the tote itself has a little bit of value. It's a big tote with an attached lid. So we'll put that in our sale too, yep. once we empty it. Hmm. Do you want to get another tote? <laughs> I mean, how can I not? Well, we have these totes too, so right here in the open. Yes, we do. So, all right, which one should we get? I don't know. I think I kind of want to want that blue one back there. So do Look, we... he's, you can see he even labeled it. <laughs> I can't see what it says. There's though. a lot of things that are labeled. All right, we're going to dig that out. Can... Roy, grab the tote from back there. Here it is. What do we got? Well. <laughs> Hopefully not a dead body. Well, these are new. Wow, those are some... It looks... Well, at least it looks new. They look new. Yeah, they still have the tag on them. So, some uh, Cabela gloves. Gore-Tex is the inner side line, inner lining. Um, so where is it? Uh, on the tag? Nope, it's Gore-Tex. I thought I saw Cabela's. Where did I see that? Maybe I was imagining things. <laughs> um. So, yeah, there it is, Cabela's. Not imagining it. You're not going crazy. Gonna say. Oh, Cabela's XL. I mean, that's probably a $40 sweater. Like, and sweatshirt, over, pullover, whatever. It's more than just one. Here's a vest. Of course there is. <laughs> Cabela's These are vest. extra large. I mean, I don't see a tag on them, but I mean. Yeah, so they probably have been worn, but they're in good shape. Another vest. Look at this. I mean, this is this could be three hundred dollars worth of Cabela's gear, clothing gear. G yeah, Cabela's gear. Here's one with a hood, so a zip up hoodie. I mean, wow. Now I will say, normally we don't go through clothes, but this here is. I mean, this is <laughs> socks. And this is all like that. Fleece kind this. of material. Of socks, it looks like. Wow. I mean, is that like a whole bag of socks? This is. Yeah. yeah. That's a whole bag of socks. We got more gear. What is this? This one is uh, natural something something or another. We'll have to figure what out, figure out what that is more. Hmm. But I mean, we're going all the way to the bottom of this, and, and it's, it's just all like Cabela's, all Cabela's outdoor, outdoor gear, and it's all folded and neat in there. Well, it was. <laughs> well, it was. <laughs> yep. I mean, but look at that. What is that? Like just a T-shirt, long sleeve T-shirt with a pocket. I mean. I mean, we got to comp that. I mean, <laughs> that could be... And it's a good size. These are XL, so that is a um, a good size for men. Here we are. Real Tree Hardwoods 2200. So that's probably the model we'd look up to see what this may resell for. Outdoor jerseys, outdoors. Hmm. Crazy. I mean, that wasn't a bad little stash. There. No, definitely so. not. Wow. I mean, and we could actually sell this in our online sale too. So yeah. I mean, um, and should we show them what what we have hanging up over here? What do we have hanging up over on here? the hangers? The other camouflage stuff. Since we're talking clothes and camo, let's move over here because this was part of the estate buyout. These were all on hangers. Yeah, on these hangers. are so these are like 
button down. These are blouses. Blouses. The blouse. So they have a military feel or like shape to them, but they're definitely just like is this called the woodland camo? Uh not quite, but No. Yeah, that's I mean this is all the How like many? Said, <laughs> big gear big hunter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of those. Yeah. 